cabaret club. Guess it's being renovated? Not surprising. This town's always had a high turnover rate. Oh? Forshine. Same name as that club I helped down in Sotombori way back when. They nearly went under because of a rival club. At least until I stepped in as their manager. It was tough work, but still a great experience. I haven't seen Yuki, Koyuki, and Yoda-san since then. Hope they're doing well. But if this joint's got the same name... Hmm. Did they open up a new location? Um, excuse me. Did you need something? <laughs> Not good. Wait, have we met before? N no, I think you've got the wrong guy. Uh, take care. Hmm? 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 Uh, do you need something? Oh my gosh! It's Kiryu-san! You just vanished into thin air one day! I thought you kicked the bucket somewhere! You really ought to show your face more often! But wow, it's so good to see you! How's it going? Uh, it's been going. What about you, Koyuki? You doing okay? Is this the same Forshine? Sure is! Forshine, the hottest cabaret club in Osaka, is coming to Kanto! In fact, we're gonna have our grand opening suit! Oh yeah? That's great. So how's business? Doing well? Well, no. Not really. Yo, you Kansai clowns still haven't hit the road yet? Look, you people are the problem here. Outsiders can't just waltz on in and pop up a club whenever, wherever they want. That's not how we roll in Kamarocho. You hear me? You old hags got no place here. How many times we gotta tell you that, Koyuki-san? Ugh, here we go again. Hmm? Who's he? Some guy from one of the rival clubs. He doesn't like that we set up shop here, so he's been harassing us. Thanks to him, there are some nasty rumors going around. And to make matters worse, a few of our girls got scared off and quit. Ugh, that man's nothing but trouble. Come on now, we just want to settle things peacefully. But if you insist on running a club here, we're gonna have to insist you comply with our ways, alright? And this conversation's over. Honestly, I'd rather die than take orders from you. Rude bitch. Find them. I'll just have to beat them into you myself. And how are you gonna do that? Who the hell are you? One of their hires. And as far as I know, Kamurocha doesn't roll any which way. You've got no right to mouth off about how things work around here. Right back at you, old man. Whatever. Guess I'll have to beat your ass first. I'm gonna send all of you packing. You'll wish you never set foot in my city. Kill her. Let's you beat him down. To go out in there. Allow me. What an eyesore. Yeah? You're gonna be in a world. Not it at all. Delivery. Coming up. Bringing in the heavy artillery.
Here we go. And that's Weeks. the end of it. They didn't stand a chance. What was this guy eating? He's way too strong. Now beat it. Come back here, and you deal with me. You won't catch me here again. I'm so sorry about that. You helped me out of a tough spot there. The same as ever. <laughs> right, curious son no, not necessarily. Anyway, before we were so rudely interrupted, I was just about to ask you to come on in for some tea. Step this way, please. Right behind you. Real spacious here. Not bad. <laughs> we pretty much took over the previous club. It's a great spot and all, so we went ahead and rented it out. So, what happened to Forshine after I left? Well, after you made Forshine the number one club in Sotenbori, Yuki-san, Yoda-san, and I worked as a team to keep it that way. And for 15 years, we were the best of the best in all of Kansai. Impressive, right? <laughs> sure is. Much harder to stay up top than to get there. Then, why are you here in Kamurocho, now of all times? Actually, I discussed branching out with Yuki-san and Yoda-san, but you know them. Not a greedy bone in their bodies. They didn't want to risk the club's quality dropping either. But after they retired, I was the one who ended up in charge. I figured, since I'm taking their place and all, maybe I ought to try something new, you know? I see. So Koyuki, the new owner on the block, wanted to give the Kanto expansion a shot. Well, it didn't have to be Kanto, honestly. I just really love Forshine, and I want to share it with people outside of Kansai, too. The girls back in Sotenbori are golden. They don't need me there to run the club. That's why I thought I should challenge myself, do something only the owner could do. That's great. I'm not surprised you went for it given how much you cherish the place. Thank you. <laughs> Still, uh, I never knew how tough it is to run a business. It's so different from serving the customers. There are way too many factors to take into account and no end to trouble, like that guy from earlier. To think Yuki-san and Yoda-san have been doing this for years. <laughs> I can't help but respect them even more. It was one heck of a wake-up call. I had no idea so many people were looking out for us hostesses in ways we never even knew. Well, now that you realize that, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Sorry for dropping in at such a busy time. Oh no, you're perfectly fine. To be honest, I wish you'd stay. Having you as the manager would be a huge weight off my shoulders. Hey now, you're gonna put me to work again? Give me a break. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm serious about being short-staffed, though. We've lost a few of our girls to some threats, and some of our staff have even been headhunted. <sighs> it's gotten me kind of down recently. I guess some things never change, no matter the times. But why not ask the Sotombori Club for help? I mean, I could, but the girls there are really popular. And since we'll be opening soon, I doubt I could adjust everyone's schedule in time. Hmm. Then why don't you ask Yuki for help? She used to be the legendary hostess, didn't she? Yeah, she'd really turn things around. <laughs> if I could even bring myself to ask. What's happening with Yuki? Yuki-san's out there making her own dreams come true and trying something new. And what's that? Running a restaurant. She used the money she saved up from her hostess days to start it up. <sighs> Told me herself that she's been super busy since it took off. I just felt like I couldn't bother her with my problems. <laughs> Not when she's got enough on her plate. And I'd feel real bad disturbing her if she's on track to success. <sighs> Wouldn't want to drag her down or anything. 
That, and uh, I can't keep crawling to Yuki-san for help. I need to handle this on my own. Ow! 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 What's wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just because I've been buried in work, my stomach's not feeling too great. Don't push yourself too hard, all right? So, Yuki's got a new place, huh? What kind of restaurant is it? She hasn't told me much about it. All I know is that she set up shop in Yokohama in a corner of a building that's got a lot of bars. Sounds like Ijincho. It probably is. Given the location and how she was the legendary hostess, I'm sure she's running a bar or something. I wish I could swing by, but since this is a new venture for her, I'd feel like I'd be a bother if I showed up. Well, I'm actually staying in a Jincho right now. Oh, wow! A small world! You should drop in and say hi then! That'd totally make Yuki-san's whole day! I mean it! Go! Hmm? Uh, alright. Cool! Let me know how it is! And if she's worried about the club, just tell her everything's going fine and to focus on her place. Got it. I'll, uh, pass on the message. Thanks so much! And I hope you can stop by for our grand opening, Kiryu-san! Five the time. I will. I know things are tough right now, but don't overdo it. That's always been a bad habit of yours. Right. I'll keep that in mind. But still, I'm really happy I got to see you again. And I'm real proud of how much you've grown, Koyuki. I'll catch you later. All right! Shireen? Has this always been here? Come on, come in! Come one, come all, and get your fill of sushi! Ah, uh, don't tell me. Quit your jabbering and stuff your pie hole with sushi! Don't be shy, sit your bum down and enjoy! <sighs> what the hell is she doing? What's this? A customer? Ah, oh, damn. Oh god, my first customer this whole week! Welcome! I'm, uh, Suzuki. Oh. My. Gosh! It's Kiryu-san! You just up and disappeared one day, so I thought you gave up the ghost somewhere! places. How did you even hear about this place? Koyuki told me, actually. Oh, gotcha. Anyway, please come this way. Come on, come in and get your fill of sushi. <sighs> sure thing. It's been so long, Kiryu-san. Like, what, 15, 16 years? Has it now? Time really does fly. I can't believe a legendary hostess is making people sushi. <laughs> now I've seen it all. <laughs> did that surprise you? It did, yeah. So, why sushi? Well, I've always wanted to run my own restaurant. Didn't matter how big or small it'd be. And since my specialty is chirashi sushi, I just figured, why not give it a shot with my best dish? <laughs> you know? Not a bad plan. The fact that you can put your hard-earned money toward making your dream a reality is impressive in itself. So, how's business? Doing well? Yeah, yeah! Uh, no, not at all. I make a pretty mean bowl of chirashi, too. Maybe it just doesn't pair well with booze? Hmm, maybe. Who knows? But you used to be known as the legendary hostess, right? So if you called up some of your old customers, they'll definitely come running. Yeah, I know, I could, but 
I can't. Doesn't feel right, you know? How so? I mean, if people only ever came here to see me, wouldn't you feel bad for the food? Because then it doesn't matter what I make for them. I shouldn't have to rely on my old rep when I'm trying to run a sushi place. It's just not right. It'd be a totally different story if I had a bar instead or a joint that runs on service and hospitality. But at my place, the Chirashi belongs in the limelight. I want people to come for my sushi, not me. Well said. Classic Yuki. You think so? I do. Sure, at first glance, things may seem overwhelming, but you've got your own principles and ideals, and you never let yourself get carried away. It's very like you. You could have gone with the trends to keep Forshine on top for over 10 years, but I'm sure it was just as important to you to strike the right balance between old and new. You stayed the best of the best because you managed to do exactly that. You've got what it takes to be a great business owner. <laughs> Probably. You really think so? <laughs> and your laugh's as creepy as ever. But it doesn't change the fact that my place ended up being a total flop. I've got so much time on my hands, I get so bored. Ryuki told me you were super busy, though. Did you lie to her? Well, yeah, I had to. I mean, I kept raving to her about taking on a new challenge, so telling her I've got nothing but time on my hands is so lame. I don't want her to worry about me either. If I told her my place was practically a barren wasteland, I feel like she'd swing by every single day. Hmm, fair point. Koyuki admires you a lot. Always has, always will. <laughs> that just made my whole day. The only reason I can even try all these new ventures is because someone as reliable as Koyuki-chan supporting me. I really appreciate her. But she's always been a hard worker. I'm a little worried she'll collapse out of sheer exhaustion one day. Hmm, about that. Things are looking a little rough on her end right now. Huh? Her club's about to have its grand opening, but they're short on staff because some guys have been harassing them. Koyuki's been doing what she can, but the new club's pretty big. I don't know if she can handle all the customers when it opens for business. Doesn't look like she's feeling great either. Oh gosh, really? I'd totally lend her a hand if she told me. She just didn't want you to worry about her. Even said she didn't want to drag you down since you told her how busy you were. Oh, I'm not really that busy though. Guess it's on me for trying to show off. Now I feel awful. Kiryu-san, would it be wrong if I help out Koyuki-chan? Do you think it'd annoy her? Why are you asking me about what Koyuki think? I'm sure you already know the answer yourself. Yeah, you're right, Kiryu-san. Thank you. No more being distant. Whenever Koyuki-chan's in a pinch, I'll always be there to help her. The two of us are like sisters, after all. I'm gonna pack up, get ready to head out to Kamurocho and all. I hope you'll come for Forshine's grand opening, too. If I have the time. All right, time for this old lady to show off what she's got.
Yuki. Oh, hey, Kiryu-san. So this is Forshine Tokyo, huh? Never imagined our club would make its way here. To think our tiny little cabaret that nearly went under would come so far. Sorry, I'm getting a little emotional. You were against expanding to Kanto, weren't you? Nah, I wasn't exactly against it. I just, you know, never found the courage. I was scared of failing and losing everything that we built. That's why I could never bring myself to do it. But Koyuki-chan's amazing. She knew the risks and still pressed forward. No matter the end result, this is a huge first step. Yeah, you're right. Yo, asshole. You really did a number on me last time. Who's he? A friend of yours? Does he look like a friend? A club's turnout on day one shows how it's gonna do in the future, so we figured we'd crash the party. <laughs> Yuki, stand back. What? You gonna stop us, Grandpa? I'd like to see you try. Come on, it's your bedtime. Yeah, Ruchka? Show me what you got. It's my turn. What a fight, I'll go up to Greece. I'm in it. Here. Thanks. Here we go. You're gonna be in the world. Delivery. Coming up. The Komaki style. Reign supreme. Ugh. Never mind. All right, then. All done cleaning up the entrance. Let's take a look inside, Yuki. Okay. Hello. I'm sorry, we're not open yet. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! What? Yuki-san? Hey there, Koyuki-chan. I heard you were in a pickle, so I came to help out. Well, if that's okay, that is. Of course that's okay. Why wouldn't it be? But aren't you super busy with your restaurant? Well, about that. I'm not busy at all. I just wanted to look cool in front of you. I'm so, so sorry. Uh, wait, really? Yeah, really. She had a lot of time on her hands. Ouch. Truth hurts. <laughs> Yuki-san! Whoa there! What's wrong? <sighs> Nothing. I, I just... I just really, really wanted to see you. 
I was so lonely without you. Koyuki-chan! I wanted to see you too. You're doing great, you know. <laughs> hey, it's about time to open up shop, isn't it? Don't you need to get ready? Oh, right. Uh, Yuki-san, do you mind lending me a hand? Of course I don't mind. Wow, after all these years, I can't believe I get to be a hostess again. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so stoked. Come on, this way, Yuki-san. You just sit tight, Kiryu-san. All right. Sorry for the wait. <laughs> so, what do you think? Beautiful. <laughs> you look stunning, Yuki-san. Ah, with you around, it's like we've got a hundred girls working the floor. But today's the grand opening, right? If only we had another first-rate hostess here to really get things rolling. Hmm, but do we know anyone like that? Hmm, a first-rate hostess, huh? I might know someone. Huh? You do? That's great! Could you please, please, please ask her? <laughs> sure. I'll give her a call. I was wondering what's all the hurry, but I never expected you to call me over to a cabaret club. Who's this? A friend of mine, Saiko. She's the mama of her own club back in Yokohama. I'm Koyuki. Oh, sorry for having you come all the way here, Saiko-san. And I'm Yuki. I've known Kiryu-san for pretty much forever. Yuki and... Koyuki? No way. Yuki-san and Koyuki-san as in the legendary hostesses of Four Shine? Sotenbury's number one cabaret club? Uh, yep. We sure are. Oh my god! Oh, this is incredible. I can't believe I'm meeting actual legends. I have read your cabaret management book over and over, Yuki-san. <laughs> Thank you. That's sweet. Now, when did you get published? Uh, it just happened to happen one day. Man, what was I even thinking? But hearing how someone read it from cover to cover makes me real happy. Um, anyway, today is our grand opening, Psycho-san, but we're a little short-staffed. I'm sorry this is all so last minute, but do you think you could help us out? We'll definitely pay you and all, so... Yes, of course, I'd love to. Oh, this would be such a great learning opportunity, and it's such an honor to work alongside you both. Awesome! Thank you so much! So, do we have enough hostesses? Yes, all thanks to you, Kiryu-san. But we still have one more role to fill. Hmm? What role? Boy, don't tell me. Wow, black really suits you, Kiryu-san. Just like old times, right? Sure takes me back. Ooh, you look real handsome. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have many guys working today either. I really appreciate you stepping in. Ooh, hold up. You were a manager at Forshine, Kiryu-san? How'd that happen? When you live as long as I have, you experience all sorts of things. I'm already dressed for the part, so... I might as well go all the way. Let's make this a night to remember. <laughs> exactly! It's nearly opening time! Ready, ladies? Forshine Tokyo is open for business! Finally over. That was a great 
showing. As expected of the Kansai giant Forshine. Great work, everyone. Y'all did amazing out there. Oh, that goes for you too, Kiryu-san. And I really can't thank you enough, Yuki-san, Saiko-san. Thanks to everyone's efforts, we made it through the night. When I took over for Yuki-san, I didn't want people thinking Forshine was done for the moment it changed hands. That's why I kept pushing to expand to Kanto. But in the end, I just exhausted myself. Honestly, I feel awful for dragging you all into my mess. I wish I could have gone about it better. Yuki-san would have done a better job for sure. I'm really sorry for my incompetence. <sighs> Koyuki... What are you saying, Koyuki-chan? You attempted something I never had the courage to do. Just that by itself is amazing. I wouldn't have even gone for it. Like, yeah, it's true there are things I can do that you can't right now. But same goes the other way around. There are lots of things you can do that I can't even imagine. So you just keep doing you, Koyuki-chan, and give everything 100%. There's really no need to copy me. Not when you've got plenty going for you. Plus, you've got skill, trust me. So believe in yourself. I want you to shine bright as the star of your own show, all right? Yuki-san. Ah! <laughs> Yuki-san! Whoa! <laughs> She's amazing. I think I get why everyone calls her the legendary hostess. Yeah. Me too. Thank you all so much for today. You've got a handle on things now? Yeah, and I think the harassment will die down thanks to you, Kiryu-san. I'm gonna give it 100% for the sake of my precious foreshine. Come stop by again sometime. You too, Psycho-san. I'd love to. Keep at it, Koyuki-chan. I think I need to step up my game too. Gotta keep my restaurant afloat. By the way, what kind of restaurant are you running, Yuki-san? You never told me. Oh, she didn't? It's a Chirashi sushi place. Huh? But why sushi, of all things? <laughs> oh, you know. You experience all sorts of things when you live as long as I have. Anyway, my business hasn't taken off at all, so I ought to learn from your example and do my best. Well, we can't have your restaurant go under. I'll visit you every day and have chirashi for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. But don't worry about me, all right? Just focus on your club. <laughs> all right. Well, guess this is it then. You ladies take care. Uh, what's up? Since we're all here, why don't we do that thing one last time before we head out? That thing? Oh, <laughs> right. That. Yeah, let's do it! You too, Saiko-san. How about it? That... oh, that thing from the photo in Yuki-san's book! All right, fine. Might as well sign off with that. Okay, here goes! Let's wish each other all the best in our future endeavors! One... Two... Three... Four, four